Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you this look. Here's a picture of what it looks like. The palette that I'm using is the Urban Decay Loves New York palette. Looks like this. Um, what I was going for was a smoky silver green eye, and so the colors I'm using are the colors called Money, Loaded, Suspect, and Smog. So I'm using those colors, and I think it turned out really pretty. Um, the end of the video, towards the end of the video, my camera, it died, so I am really sorry. I plugged it in. I realized I wasn't filming. Um, while I was talking to you, telling you what I did, I do seem irritated because I was just mad that nothing filmed, and so that kind of made me mad. But I'm over it. It's totally fine, so I do apologize in advance that I was kind of like, Ugh, I was just flustered. I was just mad. So, so if you'd like to see how I did this look, go ahead and keep on watching, and I will talk to you all soon. The base that I'm using today is the Smashbox Photo Finished Lid Primer. It just looks like this. I am just taking a few dots of this onto my eyelid. And then I just take my ring finger and blend it in. Alright, the first color I'm taking is Money. And it is right here. It is a silver with a metallic blue-green sparkle to it. I have that on just a flat eyeshadow brush. I am patting this on to my eyelid. I am not going above the crease. This does have sparkle in it, so, or glitter, you will need to pat before you start blending, just to make sure you pack on that color and the glitter adheres to you, to the primer. Now once you have that color on your eyelid, I just take the brush, I just wipe it off on a towel, and I bring this color just slightly up just so it blends out. For our crease color, I am taking the color called Loaded. Now, this is a deep forest green and it is fro a fro it's frosty. So I have that on to, this is a MAC 217 brush. I've packed it in there, tapped it off, and you're going to put this right in the center of your crease and just kind of place it down, wiggle it, and then bring it down a little bit. We are going, we're not really going to go very far with this. Usually we would bring it clear down into the crease down here. We're going to stop just right about where my eyebrow ends. So just right about there. Now take this color, we're going to bring it in just a tiny bit and just start blending it. This color almost looks black, but I promise you it's a really dark forest green. Alright, so once you have that color placed, you're going to take a blending brush and you're going to very lightly do windshield wiper motions and you're going to blend that color you want to be really careful since it's a dark color that you do not turn it into a very muddy look if you blend way too much. You'll see a lot of people just like blending, adding more color, blending, adding more color. It's because they have blended so much they have made these two muddy looking. So you just want to be very gentle and just blend it. Take your time if you have to. So for our next color, since we have left this space right here, we are taking the color called Smog. Now, Smog is that dark bronze color. So we're taking that onto just an angled, this is a MAC 275 brush. I am taking that and I am angling it out from my bottom lash line. I'm angling it out and I'm just tapping that color right there. Bring it up just a little bit and point it up. And all I'm doing is just tapping this color. Okay, so once we've had that color placed, just take your blending brush and do small little circles on the outer corner. And blend it in with the crease color, which is loaded. And also blend it in with our lid color, Money. Okay, 
So, my camera had to be plugged in. I plugged it in. I swear I pressed the record button and I did my whole entire thing. I've been talking to nobody. So, let's see. The last thing I did, I added smog onto the outer corner. I blended it out. I went ahead to tell you guys that to take any leftover loaded you had to darken up just the crease just a little bit just so you make sure both eyes are matching. For my highlight color, I took on an angled brush, I took the color Suspect, which is this one right here. I took Suspect and I took that just along the top of Loaded to give that a nice blending line. And then I took my Revlon White Whisper highlight. Since there's not a matte shadow in there, I wanted a matte. So I went ahead and I took that and I put that on as my highlight color. Sorry, I'm looking over there, I'm making sure it's recording. Then I took, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm kind of mad that I didn't record. Um, I took a pencil brush and I used Loaded and I run, I ran, I run, I ran that all along my lower lash line, smoked that out, took Urban Decay's 24-7 liner in zero, did a thin line on the top lash line, once again I smoked that out, smudged it in, whichever you want to call it, added Bad Gal Lash Mascara, and then that's it so far. So now I was coming back to show you guys the lips and cheeks. But really quick, I want to show you what the look looks what the look looks like up close. I'm gonna zoom in for you. So that's what it looks like. And there's this one. a pretty dramatic cheek so I'm taking Max Mineralized Skin Finish in the color Brunette and I'm going to focus on the two middle colors you can see those so I'm just going to take my brush and I'm using the 109 I'm going to apply this at the back of my cheekbone and bring it down once again the same on the other side Okay, so I've placed the color. I am now going to whoopsie, just take my kabuki brush. Sorry. Okay, take the kabuki brush and blend it out. I'm trying to keep most of the color towards the back of my face. shimmer on my cheeks so I'm taking refined MSF by Mac just looks like that I'm going to take that on to a fan brush we're just going to tap that on top of the cheekbones and then blend it out and up lips I am using 003 Mob It Over by the Revlon Matte Collection and that looks like that. So I'm going to take this and I'm just going to fill in my lips. a little bit of gloss just so the center of my lips sparkle. This is Smashbox Lip Enhancing Sheer Gloss in the color called Petal. It is a really pretty sandy gold. So I'm going to take that and apply that just to the center. Oh, what the heck. All over. the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will list everything down below, so go ahead and check that out. If you have any questions or would like to leave comments and subscribe, I would greatly appreciate that. 
and I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good day. Bye.